Hey guys, Jess from Your Reformer. Today I have the NB Reformer and I'm gonna take you through your preventative maintenance for the Reformer. Let's get started. You should have received a toolkit when you got your Reformer and you'll also need a microfiber cloth and just a spray bottle with some detergent and water in there as well. The first thing you're gonna do is just have a once over of your bed, have a look around, see what the bed looks like, looking for any wear and tear, making sure everything's looking Okay, then we're gonna start down the end here at the foot bar. I wanna check out just all the levels of the foot bar, see how it's moving, see how it's feeling. I'm just gonna pull that foot bar toward you. And just slot it into the slots. Just listening for any squeaks. That's moving well on this reformer. Just going to show you how you can tighten through the screws should have received, that's your Allen key. You've got three screws on the foot bar here. Just wanna use that Allen key. Make sure they're nice and tight. That'll keep that foot bar functioning really smoothly, stopping any squeaks. So you've got two at the top there, one down the bottom here. Just at that bottom one, make sure that spring is nice and straight so that the tension is off the spring and sitting parallel or vertical with your foot bar. And then come around and do the same on the other side. Again, just checking they're nice and tight, using that Allen key, super simple, tightening it up. Again, just making sure that spring is nice and straight when you tighten off screws. Lovely, from here, popping that foot bar just down on level, just want to check out your springs, make sure they're in functioning order. So I'd suggest you actually test the springs by laying down on the bed. I'm going to test, test the springs individually, hooking one spring on, just want to come laying on your back. Do a few little footwork movements, just listening. You'll know your bed well, you would have been using your bed a lot hopefully. Listening for any squeaks, any noises, making sure the springs are moving smoothly. So I'll get you to repeat that for all the other springs. Make sure they're moving smoothly. There's no squeaks, no noises. Listening for anything happening underneath the carriage, which we can clean up later. From here, you just wanna check in with your shoulder rests. Make sure they're nice and secure. These ones obviously on the MV, just lifting in and out. Just checking that it's nice and clean under there. We we'll give it a good clean when we get onto that. But these little pegs, remembering that they tighten underneath so screw underneath, so you can always unscrew those just to make sure they're nice and tight, holding that screw at the bottom and really kind of tighten down through those pegs. Lovely, just checking over that pulley system at the front, making sure those pulleys are working nice and tightly and just pull the string through and let it go, moving smoothly. Checking over the strings at the same time, making sure they're nice and smooth, looking for any wear and tear. Just checking that both of the strings are moving smoothly through your pulley system. Just wanna unloop that string. Just give it a pull through the pulley system. Making sure there's no squeaks. Moving nice and smoothly. The reformers can get quite dusty, so you wanna make sure that if you feel like they're a bit stuck, it's probably there might be some dust in the system. So we're gonna give it a good clean over. At the end here with the poles, You've obviously got your screws down the bottom here. Just want to check that they're nice and um, tight again. Nice and straight with the pulleys toward the shoulder rests. Really nice and tight. That one's a little bit loose, give it a tighten up. So you've checked over with your bed, making sure it's all nice and tight. You've checked over your springs. Now we're going to have a look at giving it a good clean. To keep your bed functioning at its best, you want to keep that dust and grime down on the bed. It'll help those wheels track nice and smoothly with the carriage. So you're going to unhook your um, springs and that'll allow the carriage to move freely. And you obviously want to have your microfiber cloth with your detergent and your water. And you're going to give the underneath the carriage a good clean and the springs a good clean. Keeping that dust down, make those wheels slide nicely. So just spraying onto your cloth and you want to make sure you're wiping all the way underneath, all the way along that track and then also all the way along the top. That'll allow those wheels to really track nicely. 
Beautiful. Same on the other side. Just gonna work your way along that track as best as you can, bottom and top. While you're here, you might wanna give those springs a little clean as well. That buildup of dust can mean that the springs don't function as well as they can. So let's keep that dust down and away off the springs. And then just move the carriage back down the other way. You can unlock the, unhook the loops if you need to, to get in and amongst that top end of your reformer. And again, wiping that underneath side all the way up to those stoppers so that those wheels can really function at their best. Hopefully. So once you've cleaned underneath and the carriage is nice and clean, also keep your loops nice and clean, ropes nice and clean. You can do your upholstery as well. Just make sure you're spraying onto the cloth first. And you can wipe down your whole bed, especially after a sweaty workout. Really nice to keep your bed nice and clean and that'll keep that upholstery looking really fresh and new. Lovely. Same with your platform, jump board, the box. Just keeping it all nice and clean. And the foot bar. Just gonna show you where you, underneath your platform where the um, pegs are that you hook your springs onto. If you haven't checked on those, I'm gonna make sure that they're still also nice and tight. You'll need to move the platform for that so that you can see. And they can also be tightened with the Allen key if you need to. You're just gonna come along, give them a little twist. There's one that's loose, give it a little tighten up. Lovely. Good to clean in and around those as well. Same deal with the, um, the cloth and the spray. And there you go. Your reformer should be in the best working order, nice and clean, everything's looked after, ready to go for your home use.